I'd like to talk about Georgetown. It's a wonderful place to have a studio. Uh, it's the oldest part of Seattle and it uh, was the real rip-snorting skid road of Seattle and, and the policemen used to shoot out the tires of speedsters way back when. <laughs> And this building is about 1890s, sometime in there, and it's, it's uh, beautifully built, wonderful beams and so forth. It's, uh, this whole, f it gives it such a flavor. Now it's become a, a place where artists are finding, it's the last bastion, really, of, of art, uh, artists all together um, in Seattle. And I think that's, it's really great. It's been a very important aspect for me. I've been here 21 years in this space and I, I really haven't regretted a, a minute of being here. And uh, people have found me and I've sold most of my work just through this studio here. I've had many other vi venues throughout the city but this has been the most fruitful. Um, I'm really excited about having this show in, in Britain. I've exhibited in New York, Chicago, Seattle, and Tokyo. My New York dealer took 20 paintings to Tokyo and sold 15 in one crack. That was pretty much selling art, and it was great. Um, and I hope we w have good success in, in London. I don't know how it will, I, and I don't know that it will necessarily affect my painting. Painting to me is a very private interior act. Um, but I think it'll be a wonderful thing to get it out there um, at this late hour of my life. It's not going to sway me. I'm not painting for a market, that's for sure. But it'll, it'll be wonderful to have that kind of recognition if, if people really like this. Uh, it feels like it's finally the public has caught up to what I'm doing and they understand what I'm doing. And it's a time when people are really needing uh, some spiritual uh, basis in their lives. They're looking for it, they're needing this. And that's a very exciting thing because I've been on that track all the way along. Paint, the material is a little bit of goo out of the earth. It's pigments from the earth ground up and we are shaping it into something that moves us. If it doesn't move us, it's not operating as art as far as I'm concerned. So it has to affect us on a very visceral level. We're not imposing our will on pain. It's like uh, pain has this voice of its own. It's like throwing the Frisbee. You don't have to push it through the air. It's just a flick of the wrist. And I'm not saying painting is easy, but it's really important to be listening to what the painting is saying. So it's a real dialogue and an easy give and take, as Jackson Pollock said, between you and the painting. Maybe the whole process of painting is the process of clarification. And as it goes on, we see a little toehold, something we can work with, and then it becomes clear what we're trying to say and who we are also. So it, it helps define us and what we're saying. It's wonderful to see the response over time to people who 10 years ago would sort of look at this bright color and turn tail and run. And now they come in and they say, this is wonderful, I love this stuff. And I said, why? And they say, because it's so quiet. And I said, it's screaming color. Yes, they said, but the design is quiet. So I've got a tension going between strong color and simple stripped down design. I see her moving from more of a landscape kind of rooted in the natural to more of the spiritual and kind of transcending or moving past behind the natural um, and and it really is that progression of a, a progression from from that very explicit this is a landscape to this is what that landscape means to me so it's it's a it's a lovely thing to to, to be able to be witness to and then to also to recognize, you know, work from 30 years ago has still is very relevant today, but is in such direct contrast to who she is as I know her today. I'm not the, the kind of artist who goes out there and paints from nature directly, directly observing. No, I need to experience it and it needs to 
percolate for a while before I can really put it out there again in some form that is, is powerful. I want it to have full of presence and, and, and move people, as I say, on this visceral level and not some long diatribe through the brain, and I've got to read an essay about this painting on the wall, but something that's really direct, that comes straight off the nervous system, and that people can relate to. And that's a, that's a tall order. It's one thing to make a balanced composition, it's another thing to make something that really has power and meaning.